This is this particular mango tree. So this mango tree was planted by Nelson Mandela of uh, South Africa. Did they have the year it was planted? It was in 1991. This mango tree seems like it doesn't grow. I've been looking it at it for a while. It's a very funny mango tree. <laughs> it only Best grows. fruit seasonally. Best fruit seasonally. And also in 1961, Dr. Nkrumah got a gift from President Kennedy, a car, Cadillac. So it's parked right over there. Does it work? Oh, it's in good shape. It's it still in good shape. shape. Is it really good? Yes. They take it out every time doing independence? Yes. No. So let's let's come to the mausoleum. Uh, who's gonna pour libations? That's that's what you're looking for, right? A volunteer. You have water. Um, do we have water? There you go. So, oh no, this is empty bottle. Uh, we're looking for a volunteer to pour libations right there in the memorial or the mausoleum. Yeah, but here's some water. This is this empty. Perfect. All right, there you go, Shelly. You volunteered. Yeah. That's what's up, your warrior. That's what's up. Appreciate you. All right, family. Let's go. Pour some libations and give a moment of silence and peace to a legend who dedicated the vision of Pan Africanism. Oh, perfect. So you and uh, Shelly can share it. Oh, you're talking about doing it or leading it, uh, being a part of it? Yeah, being a part of this. And then the other one we're going to do too. We have a few of. Um, the Elmina Holocaust Dungeon, sorry, the Cape yeah, Coast Holocaust we'll Dungeons, and also Asin Mansell, the last bath of our ancestors, that location. So we get to do a few things a few times. The so family, these are actual gravesite of Nkum himself, and this other one over here is of his uh, wife. Fatia and Kuma. So this is the mausoleum which contains the final remains of Osajifo Dr. Kwame Kroma. I just added a title. Osajifo was a title that was given to him after independence, which literally means the people's redeemer or the people's savior. So we often call him Osajifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. So this happens to be the third and final resting place of our first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And often the tradition of this group, each time we got here, we pour a libation to show respect to him and our other ancestors also, who one way or the other paved the way for all of us and for us to be where we are now. So it's time for the libation, and one of us will do that. But come on up to the front, bring it on up. Is and after each word he says, the response I get is a shame, right? Uh, yes, uh, we can just work it on in this uh, flow any way you want to flow. Different people do it different ways, it's all good. You just paying love, respect, and honor to. This is a libation for. Can we pour it in here? Or oh, in here. 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 This is for his dedication, yes. dedication to helping 
uh, the future generation. Thank you. And also, we need to mention our ancestors. Also, for our ancestors, this is my sister. Yes. For my mother, father, and my grandmother and father. Thank you. Thank you. I share. I share. Uh, this is for my grandfather, Jacob, for my father, and for my sister. I'll share it. I'll share it. Good night, sister. Good night, sister. So that's the tomb of Dr. Nkrumah, and we have right next over there that of his Egyptian wife, Fatia Nkrumah. So she had to just right over there. So she's there to us. So the children will be buried here later? Not necessarily. In fact, originally. Oh, this place was made for only no, zoom up. But looking at her sacrifices she made, mm -hmm. getting married to him. But she went through a lot yes. getting married to him. So the Ghanaian government and people thought that she deserved an honor. That is why her wish was granted. Just so she she could also have a peaceful rest. That's why she was also the next to him. So we cannot tell if any of the kids would also be buried here. That would be the decision of the state. If it is thought that is what should happen, I'm sure, because there are a lot of spaces anyway, and they are just four. So we have spaces. So if the state decides it should happen, it will happen. But for now, this is just for the two of them. So from here, we walk to, in the museum basically, I'm gonna leave you to have a look around because we've gone through all the facts already. So we have pictures of him with the late Muhammad Ali, the boxer, when he visited Ghana. He with Dr. W.E.B. Du Bois, who was one of his mentors. His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie of Ethiopia. Um, Patrice Lumumba, the then Prime Minister of Congo, who was also brutally killed through Western influence as well. He with Fidel Castro of Cuba, um, Nikita Khrushchev of the Soviet Union, um, Chairman Mao of China, President Kennedy, and other 
world leaders. Um, in all, he wrote about 14 books, which are also on display there. We got the original casket in which his body was laid. In fact, after he died, they embalmed his body. So for close to 20 years, he used to be on public display in an open casket, which is metallic. In the museum, by the time this place was finished and they had to move him here, they realized his body was beginning to deteriorate. So he was given a final resting place here. Yeah. We have some of his clothes he used during his exile days. The original traditional dress he wore when he made his independence declarations. We call it fugu or smock. It's also on display there. His official desk and telephone as president of Ghana. Some of his furniture, such as his student mattresses from Lincoln University, just wow. donated to Ghana. Nobody, but Lincoln University are also on display there. He loved music, so his pianos he used to play. Uh, also, the uh, Steinway and Sons from the US and other personal stuff of his. There's a picture of his family and his wife and others as well. So in the museum, basically, we're going to be looking around on our own. Okay, so let's come to it. All right, perfect time. And once they finish this quick gift shop run, and then we just have to make a move to the culture center. And yes, family, so this is the museum. And unfortunately, we're doing no recording in the museum itself. So I'll just show you on the outside. And then once you get here, just enjoy it. There's a lot of history and culture in the museum, just as our tour guide mentioned. And let's give you one of the last unique view of the memorial.